Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're out here with the Halls Forma G888, big 48 inch mill, and this nice big chestnut log. It does have some splitting on this end, some hollowing on that end. Even that branch there is hollowed out, right? I still think there might be some good wood in here. So, we're going to try to mill this thing up. Look, it's got some cool grain right here going on. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will stick with me. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and, uh, Turn on those YouTube notifications so you guys don't miss any future uploads. Let's start making some sawdust. Was a real fight and a struggle ay, ay, ay. i don't do a ton of this guys so this is something new to me um this is the first really really big wide log i've ever attempted milling and i think yeah i did right here i kept getting hung up it wasn't so much the saw and the mill and the setups part but my part um and what happened here is I allowed the bar to dig in and then I backed it up tried to go and I got the bar all twisted and actually lifted up off off the ladder and then it just would not like reset so you saw me get out a different saw and hit this and then it was like I couldn't get the uh, chain on the mill to just kind of level out thing just kept twisting and binding and uh, this cut is atrocious, but I don't really care. At least it's kind of smooth off, kind of a smooth surface to come back through and cut the next slab. But you can see that hump right there. That thing's messed right up. But it's all right. We're still in the sapwood. We'll get down. I think there's going to be some nice stuff. You got some really cool spots, you know, just in the sapwood alone. I think, uh, I think it'll be some really pretty wood. I mean, look at this going on right here. Whew. Well, as much fun as that was, 
we got to set up and try to go again, right? Let's see if we can make this next one a little bit better. Stick with me, guys. Stick with me. I'll tell you, though, I can see grain pattern here, even in the rough cut. You see this kind of stuff curling? The line's going across here from the saw, but most of you guys mill, probably mill that. The other issue I'm having is this was brought over with skid steer or backhoe or something, and I brushed it off, dusted it off. There's still rocks embedded um, from one, it being dragged, two, it was dropped in gravel. And I'm trying to work with that, but as much as I think I'm getting it cleaned up, it seems, uh, seems like, you know, your chain finds the one or two rocks that are in the bark. Now, my guess is that's probably why this started giving me issues right around, big issues right around here. There's probably a rock in the bark. We hit that and it just giving me a hard time. So I gotta sharpen that chain really well. If I find a really bad spot, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'm gonna sharpen it up quick. See if we can get another slab out of here today. We'll see, we'll see. I gotta pick kids up here in a little bit. Boy, if this next one doesn't go smooth, my golly. My golly, my golly. Well guys, we're back here in the shop. That ended early milling that big piece. Um, I was having some issues with that first cut. I realized the ladder that I was using for that first cut wasn't set perfect. And, well, that was one factor. Two, uh, as I got into the cut and got down near the end there, you guys might have seen I was struggling. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But what happened was, well, I believe what happened is I hit a stone in the bark of the tree we were uh, milling. And the bar started walking up the log rather than staying straight. And I, I really didn't realize it. And when I did, I realized that the rails of the mill were no longer touching the ladder. And it was kind of just riding all on the bar and no weight was on the ladder to keep things straight. And so it just eject that whole top cut up to the point where I couldn't get this to reset and like kind of finish the cut. It just became a total pain. Um, I think I left it in there though. I, I finally got this out. I resharpened the chain. I just didn't go back at it with this saw and I used my uh, 440 Magnum with just a 25 inch bar and just kind of like finished that first cut. Now that's going to be it. That's it for today. That's it for this video as far as uh, the milling goes. Now I've put the saw here on my bench quick. I've got this thing razor sharp to the point where I reached under it to grab a wrench and uh, yeah, barely touched that tooth. So <laughs> those are nice and sharp. Um, with that not cutting well though, it did heat the bar up quite a bit. Again, user error, that's my fault. And I've got shavings coming off here. I don't know if anybody can see it. It's like hairs, but they're metal hairs coming off the bar. I'm not sure if I've totally thrashed this bar, but um thinking over the next couple days we're going to get back out and try to mill that log with this bar and chain because this is what I have to use. Now, something else I've noticed, you know, running the hulls forma. Obviously, this 880's got a lot of power, but I am noticing that we are melting the plastic right here where the exhaust kicks out and the plastic right here on the handle. So not only are we trying to mill, we're also kind of reviewing this saw and this setup, right, as we go. Um, you know, other than that, it's, you know, the saw runs good, but I'm a little frustrated with that last milling project. But we'll get back out there. We'll make a, another video and, and get that slabbed up. Now, I had said when I did my first review video of this, I'd show you guys. I don't think I did it all. All I did here for the oiler system was I cut a bracket, drilled it out, and set it up so it leaks right on the chain in here. You know, everything's on its side, but if you guys are into milling, you know what I'm talking about. If you saw those other videos, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. That's that. <laughs> amateur hour over here as far as chainsaw milling goes i know so if you uh you mill with the chainsaw and all that guys i'm, I'm open to stuff i'm open into uh 
helpful tips and comments and things like that. I really do appreciate those things that have already been receiving. You know, this bar got hot. We already blued it. But that's my fault, you know. Um, yeah, if I can get some slabs cut, though, and sold, then I will be upgrading probably to a different bar and chain. If this bar holds out, I will be uh, getting a different chain here in the future. We'll see, though. We'll see. Um, you know, upgrades to the saw that I'm thinking of right now. Obviously, different bar and chain. And I want to do a different exhaust. I want this exhaust port to come out here and kick to the side. I've seen some online. I also have a buddy who is a very meticulous welder. So I might, uh, you know, get talking with him, buy another exhaust and have him uh, create one for me. M while milling with this, while I'm standing, no big deal. But if I'm kneeling down like those maples in one of the last videos I did, milling with this setup, the exhaust is right in your face, bouncing off the ground and the log and that kind of that kind of sucks. So I do want to see if I can have the exhaust jump out the front, kick to the side. That'll help hopefully a little bit. But that's it, guys. That's all I got. Sorry, that video is kind of a bust. These things happen, you know, just trying to keep that stuff real. Um, give me a thumbs up, though. Hit subscribe. Leave me a comment, guys. Turn on those YouTube notifications as I will have another video finishing that log and milling it up. Hopefully I can get it cleaner. The stones that are embedded in the bark, because like I said earlier, I think I mentioned it earlier, you know, it was dropped in gravel, are, are making it difficult. So, <laughs> I don't know. Hope you guys have an awesome day, though. Check out some videos popping up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.